Hello, NYWC. I, I am the administrator of the NYWC message board, Robert Lotti. And with me is, welcome back, since we didn't get to do it last month together, Jessica. <laughs> well, Aftermath 2022 was a great show as the New York Wrestling Connection came back home to the NYWC Sportatorium in Deer Park, New York. The, uh, woo! the show kicked off with a Southern Discomfort Bar Bash. Yeah. As we saw the trio of just Shalini Hitman, Satata Fury, and Fighting Jack Morrissey team up with our favorite drinker, JT Kaysen. As they did battle with the Dirty Deeds, Dirk Moore and Johnny Malloy. Boo, boo. Yeah. Oh, they are. Look at that. Can I just have a lemon, please? Yeah. And, and, and they joined forces with her favorite poser, Jordan Reddington. Yeah. yeah. And, and this was a hectic, you know, bar themed type match. They had a table full of beer pong. They had a beer keg, which I guess was empty. There was, uh, you remember what? It was like a kind of a plastic beer bottle that actually broke. I forgot who used it. And it scattered a big piece like laid it up right in front of us. I can't remember who used that one. Yeah. Um, let me see. Who else? What, what other stuff we saw in there? Oh, it was, I think, uh, Payson speared um, Malloy through, through a door in the corner. Nice way of showing him the door. Uh, he used a stunner on somebody. At one point, Kaysen and Dirk Moore drank. Uh, there was bloodshed, surprisingly, in this one. Yes, there was. And Sam was chanting, we want blood. And he we got it. We want blood. And he got it. He got it. Um, eventually, I, I think the end came when someone in a black shirt and tie had come out with his arms folded, much like you know, Taz. And he uh, enters the ring and he helps the deeds in Reddington power bomb. I forgot who it was. Was it Fury? Morrissey? It was one of them. Yeah, something like that. Power bomb went through that beer pong table. And also there was a, a, a door with a bunch of beer cans in the corner. I forgot who went through that one. But the Dirty Deeds and Jordan Reddington pick up the victory over the Trilogy Hitman and JT Case. And then the first ever Southern Discomfort Bar Bash. And I don't know if that guy who helped him, I guess he's going to be hanging with Reddington or for Dirty Deeds. Yeah. I'm not certain. Up next, we saw our first title match of the night as we saw Shadow to challenge unstoppable Izzy McKenna for the Scarlet Championship. Shadow, that coat you wore, um, that was like a very Undertaker influence. And Shadow, uh, I didn't, didn't quite catch uh, your entrance music. And Izzy McKenna who sings that version of Bad Moon Rising you come out to? Anybody it's got a good answer? song. Yeah. It's not the Creedence Clearwater Revival. That was the original version, as we know. Mm -hmm. But the match was on, and Unsolvable Izzy McKenna defeated Shadow by submission, and they like, embraced after the match. But then up on the screen, we see Chelsea, Chelsea Green. Green. No one wasn't trying to rhyme there. And she said she wanted to challenge Izzy McKenna. Yeah, Izzy McKenna. We're the Starlet Championship on Saturday night, April 30th. We'll get back to that later, folks. Next up, it, uh, out comes Dickie Rods and John Mayer, the son of the late Crusher Dugan. And they have, Rods is, got a nice, is dressed in the nines, and he's got a, the Crusher Dugan Heart and Soul Cup Tournament. Heart and Soul Cup. Heart and Soul! Thank you. Hey. And yes, Patrick, we're going to try to make that. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Right here. Right here. Ooh. Yeah. Thank you. Wait, she's ordered that? Yeah. Oh, she did. That came with our entree with me. Yeah. Oh, I didn't pay. All right. Okay, um, sorry, folks, but yeah, we're eating here. <laughs> oh. Yum. Good. <laughs> Stafford, right? No, not yet. You got it on four. No. It's still going? Yeah, we're still going. Hey, they don't like it. They can, they can fast forward in the what end. What do you need? What do you need? You want to What do I got? Mm. 
right there. Ooh. That's regular, right? All right. But yeah, as I said, Roz and John Mayer were in the ring, and out came all eight participants of this year's Heart and Soul Cup Tournament. And bringing out to Patrick James of the Boulevard Bully says, six of you need to get out of the ring right now. Let's start this tournament. And we started out with uh, Michael Cortez of the Audacity, went one-on-one -on -one with our favorite friendly baby face, Jaden Vallow. Mm -hmm. No pun intended when I say, lie! All right. Mm. Yum, yum. What do you want? I got it. Oh, oh. Bring the plate to it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Mm. Come on, Ted. And the match was on, and this one, they really, I think both, I don't know about you, but Micah and Jane, they really tore the house down in this one. The crowd was really in the palm of their hands. And we had a great crowd for this show, by the way. They were really into it. And the two club was in full effect. Yes. But in the end, Jane Vallow defeated Micah Cortez to advance in the Pressure Dugan Heart and Soul Cup Tournament. Yes. All right. Up next, um, the Big O comes out and mentions the fact that he won the Joker's Wild Battle Royal last month and talk about Matt Cardono being the champion, but he's interrupted by Bad Brad Benson. Oh, yeah, and then they, and Brad was saying, you know, I'm taking over your, your spot and I forgot what else he said, you know. Once these shows go into the, into the books, folks, everything's a blur, just... Just like puddle of mud. Everything's so blurry. So, the match is on, and the big O defeated Bad Brad Benson. Okay, you can talk about that. Yeah. He's no longer Brad Brad. He's Bad Brad now, just so you know. You know that. Another one you want here? Okay. And it was a good match. How are we doing so far? Very good. Very good, thank you. Mm. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What do you need? Oh, napkins gone. We had all power in here. Ah, good. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, oh. Plate, you should have brought no, you should have brought your plate bring over. It to you. Yeah. Thank you. I have to let go because it's hot. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize it was burning hot. Ooh, wow. Yes. You want more? You good? Okay, you don't let like that drip. Whoa. Oh, yeah, easy. I did it, I did it. I'm used to hot stuff. <laughs> okay, so. There you go, won the match. Oh, again. Oh. Ah, it's not playing. That's right. She got it, she got it. She got it for herself there. Is it hot too? Yeah, it is. No, oh, that's cold. Oh, that's salsa. Yeah. You want to go for that one? Yes. Get the time oh, in there. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, spinach? Spinach artichoke. All oh, right. Okay. Yep. Are you going to have any, Ronnie? No, thank you. All right. I'm taking it all home. <laughs> uh, we're, still, we're still going? Yes, we're still going. We haven't, we're not breaking here. Okay. Until the main stuff comes, unless we get this done okay. by that point. So then what happens? Yeah, so I'm getting to. All right. I like when the crowd and choke them out. Choke them out. Choke I heard that. So yeah. who? In the big old bad, bad, bad Branson match. <laughs> Oh. oh, okay. I can't remember what was happening at that time, but all right. But next up was another first round match in the Crusher Dugan Heart and Soul Cup Tournament. As we saw Dino Mike take on Brandon Watts of Milk Chocolate. All right. Uh, very good matchup, which saw Brandon Watts of Milk Chocolate defeat 
Dino Might. Not Dino Might, it's JJ Walker. He's saying good times to advance in the Heart and Soul Cup tournament. Yeah. <laughs> good. Thank the ring announcer for that. He's the one who started that. Okay. Um, then it was time for one of the bigger matches of the shows as we saw the desolate one, Rex Wallace, do battle with nobody's better, Michael Mastretta, to determine the number one contender to the heavyweight championship. Uh, eventually, Jordan Reddington comes out. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to have some of that. Jordan Reddington comes out and he, um, I forgot what he did. He kind of distracted Rex. And Michael Mastretta ended up picking up the win yeah. to become number one contender of the heavyweight championship. But at that point, at that point, out comes the big O. And he announces to the crowd that he's cashing in his world title championship. His world title shot against Matt Cardona at the next show, Saturday night, April 30th. And we'll get to that again shortly. All right. Okay. And then I think at that point, they did go. Yeah, they did go to intermission at that point. And, and ladies and gentlemen, tickets during intermission went on sale for the ne very next show, which is happening Saturday night, April 30th, mm -hmm. as they present April Rain, April Rain. As we opposed already, to Purple Rain. Yes. You gotta stick to being an empty guitar singer. <laughs> Hey. And I give it a shot. Maybe. <laughs> he likes to sing, though. He does. Good. Hey. Well, well, he likes well. to do karaoke. But yeah, as I was saying, Saturday night, April 30th, NYWC presents April Rain. And uh, it's happening not at the NYWC, it's happening at the Copeg Fire Department, where we went last summer. Wow. But this time it'll be indoors, I'm sure. Where that wrestler was walking up on a hook and ladder big truck. I remember that. Oh, uh, you're thinking of... Um, yeah, that was it. No, I'm talking Garnville. about... Garnville. No, no, we're not in far in Copeg. We're going to Copeg. We went to Copeg back in August when you picked me up from work and we went out there and now you're five minutes after I arrived, the show started. Yeah, right. Oh, that's when inside you met, the fire department. Uh, yeah, but that's where you met the Long Island Railroad. That's where you I met these right, ladies at that, that show. Yeah. But yeah, as I said, yeah, Saturday that's a nice. That's a nice show. Yep. Saturday night, April 30th, April rain. Okay. Then, the show resumed. We get back to the show, and out comes the man who loves the number three. Papa Don. The great God, with his Alpha Championship Wrestling Championship belt and his Ronin Heavyweight Championship belt. Where's Alpha belt. Wrestling? I forgot where they run, but they've only, I don't think really they've done too many shows. I don't know where Ronin is either. Alpha, but they named it after a star. Yeah. Okay, from there, but Papa Don comes... Challenger is none other than uh, Chef Boyardee's, the Chef Boyardee, well, pro wrestling dancer, the Chef Boyardee, your favorite party guy. Maggie, we like to party. We like, we like to party. Yeah, she we loves to party. Bus, jumping. No, yeah, you, are, you love dancing to answer to that. Uh, the match was on, and I forgot how it ended, but uh, the Greek god Papa Don prevailed over Pancakes to retain his championships. Next up was the third first round match of the Pressure Dugan Heart and Soul Cup Tournament. As we saw one of your favorites bow to no one. Ian Bell. As he did battle with Salvatore Savelli. And Savelli was doing everything he can to win. At one point he um, I grabbed a chair outside. He, he he's walking right by as he called me a bitch. No. <laughs> He did. Say it isn't so. Oh, I reacted. I don't think he heard me. Uh, and he came in the ring, he tried to use a chair, but the referee stopped, grabbed the chair from, from Savelli, but then Savelli scored a goal between Bale's legs and ended up winning the match and oh, dancing yeah. into the turner in the Crash of Dudes with Heart and Soul, Soul Cup Tournament. I, that's a mouthful. I won't dare anybody to say that three times fast. Savelli picked up the win. Next up was a singles matchup as we saw the Man Bun Jesus, Johnny Radke, accompanied the ring by the Groovy Grizzlies twins, Dr. Do. And I don't know, the lady has not been given a name yet, I don't think. Yeah. As, he, as Radke did battle with the cause of it all, Joey Conway, and boy, so many fans in the crowd ate him alive. Really? Yeah, somebody held up a sign and said, Conway caused me. 
Yeah. One, one, one terrible sign said, Conway wipes back to front. That was wow. horrible. But right Love behind us, and we'll get to him as well, uh, was former ring announcer, I guess it's safe to say, he's NYWC sign guy again, Jason Linick. He held up a sign and said, the cause of it all, but he crossed out the word cause and put the, made it say, the bore of it all. The match was on con, ooh, easy. Yeah, just let it go, don't worry. Oh, you're gonna try to reach out right now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I wish we had more chips. I know. You can make some more chips. Yeah, but I don't know. But you want to don't get filled up with yeah, your food. Yeah, don't get filled up with your chips. I know you didn't need much. Oh, wow. Okay. Save room for the other. Hmm. Oh, maybe. That's fine. You can get chips. Okay. Um, yeah, Jason Linick had that sign. It said the bore of it all. Conway took the sign from him, stood up on the second rope, and ripped it up, unfortunately. Get that thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, easy there. And. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, oh, then, then what happened? Mm. Okay, you pay attention? I didn't try to eat. Um, Conway won the match, and afterwards, Radkeys gets a microphone and talks about he lost two in a row. But then, right by the back door, was Sage Chance and Tommy Rant screaming at him. But Conway comes back out, attacks Radkeys from behind. Rant and Chance hit the ring, and it's a three on one attack. Radkeys. Sorry. Radke picks up, uh, I'm sorry, Conway uh, picks up Radke. They set up four chairs. Conway does the, this uh, dude buster or the dead eye move off the steps on the four chairs, leaving Radke laying until Jaden Vallow and the Groovy Grizzlies twins and Dr. Dude and the lady come back out to help Radke out of the ring. Yeah. And also, Conway actually took the microphone and he was calling out Willow Nightingale wanting the fusion title and also made reference reference to Rob, who we know is Rex Wallace. So I don't know where they're going to lead up to that one. Yeah, that wasn't very nice what they did. Yeah. Hopefully it's going to lead up to something. What happened with Barry at the end, though? His name is... We're getting that... You mispronounced his name, but we're going to get that right now. Because up next was the fourth and, fourth and final... First round match of the Pressure Dugan Harden Soul Cup Tournament. As we saw, the other half of the Audacity, Seth Cortez, go one on one with Randy, Randy Summers, Summers not Barry. Randy, Randy Summers. Oh. You said Barry. <laughs> My Chimania, Bonnie. Yes. Uh, well, there was a lot of noise in the stadium well, tonight, you know. Well, there was. Yeah, we know that. Okay, and uh, the match was on, and I forgot how it ended, but Randy Summers... And the body slams the noise. It didn't yeah, stop. I know, yeah. with the ring. That's Randy right. Summers defeated Seth Cortez to advance to the next round of the Crash and Dirt and Heart and Soul, Soul Cup Tournament. <laughs> and then it was main event time as, as Sage Chance and Tommy Rant challenged the Fathers of the Style today. Jose and Joel Maximo, the SAT for the Tag Team Championship. I tried a little. What? I tried a little. That's good. Uh-huh. Good match. Yeah. Uh, good match, and which saw the SAT pick up the win, hitting the Spanish fry. Right here. Hold that thought. Uh -huh. We'll be back in a little bit, folks. Uh, As we were saying, after our great food here, uh, the SAT defeated Sage, Sage Chess and Tommy Rett to retain the tag team championship. Uh, I'll never forget when Sam told, said my line to say Chance, you look like a little girl, and Sam said, you look like a bitch. Yeah, actually I had that ready. And uh, I believe they were chatting sissy haircut at him? Yes. Oh boy. Okay. I think I both of them. No, I think it was that probably a chance, I'm guessing. But that was, that was, pretty, much, that was pretty much the end of the show. Okay. Uh, personal notes, uh, Mama Sabaro Pizzeria, where my uncle and I stopped at before the show. They got some, yeah, yeah. we got some, they got some very good food. It's too bad they close at 10 o'clock, because maybe we'd go there after a show someday. Try their chicken cutlet parmesan, parmesan heroes. We, we both, had them, they both were great. Them. Very you good. You get, you didn't get acid reflux or gas from the, what? From the heroes over last month. Oh, the last Those were meatballs. Yeah, meatballs, yeah, no more meatballs. For him. Okay. But yeah, okay. They, 
chicken cutlet parmesan here. Right? Yeah, really soft good. bread, nice soft oh, bread oh, soup. Yeah, the service was great. Yeah. Was it like a restaurant? Yeah, waitress did yeah, wait, wait on us. Yeah, yeah. And it had a bottle of wine on the table. Oh, yeah. yeah. In case you want to, uh, I have wine, but yeah, yeah. who knows how much that costs. But unfortunately, I'm sorry to say this, tomorrow, Mama Sabara Pizzeria is pricey. How much was a hero? Uh, over ten bucks each. Yeah, eleven dollars. Yeah. Uh, okay. How much were they at the other place? I can't like remember. Eight, a little cheaper. Eight, 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 eight I guess. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, like oh it's great. Welcome back. Welcome back, uh, former ring announcer. I guess he's NYWC sign guy again, Jason Linick. Woo! Yeah, Jason Linick Ooh. sign guy in the house. Oh, oh. Easy. Oh. <laughs> Take your time. Um, she probably food got caught somewhere on her. I think she's following a pal. Oh, that, oh, that too. Thank you. Mm. You want another round of the food slide? Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Make sure you drink yours, though. I uh, drank mine already. Oh, okay. Goody. Okay, um, yeah, I'm trying to continue. Yeah, we have some memorable quotes here. <laughs> right in the titty. I don't know if that was Jason Linick or the guy by, or another guy behind us when uh, Sal, Salvatore Savelli took off his um, took his straps off and took a chop to the chest from Aiden Bale. And speaking of what I'm on the subject of Savelli, when he went to grab that chair, like I mentioned earlier, he called me a bitch. And I, I don't think he heard me, but I did react to him right away. I'll tell you one thing. Maybe I might want to pull a page out of the old Jim Rundus playbook. You said up yours, right? I oh, I did. I don't want you going in the ring with them. Robin. Oh, that's not going to happen. No way. I, I don't want you to hurt them. Hey, look, I, I wasn't silly enough to do it long ago over the years. There's no way I'm silly enough to do it now. Okay. Yeah, it ain't going to happen. Whoa. Okay. But, I guess, uh, yeah. From there, we had, uh, oh, yeah. Tuck that shirt. Tuck that shirt. It's a crowd towards one of the referees and even bring it out to... Pat, uh, Patrick uh, was telling the same thing, and some people were chatting new pants at him because I think it's even though it was a skinny guy, I, I know that belt was big enough for him to hold up his pants. New pants? No, the, the referee, remember? Uh -oh. Pat. The, 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 the black referee. guy with the short black Short hair, yeah, the referee. I didn't, I didn't know his name. And speaking of referees, we didn't see uh, James McGrady, we didn't see Dylan tonight. No, we. Um, but we're seeing Chris Perry, Greg. Greg, Shane, Shane, welcome back. Didn't see him at Psycho Circus. Well, Donnie. As long as they remember to catch those chairs in midair. Oh, oh that's yeah. a, I'll get to that about something uh, about that shortly. That uh, right. So, oh yeah, our buddy Erin. Uh, yeah, she was doing camera yeah. work today. Yeah, she was. I could do a video at Psycho Circus. Um, no, oh, yeah, I, even though she mentioned it earlier, you look like a bitch. Sage Chance to Sam. By the way, great seeing him and Tommy. Yeah, this it was. It was nice. <laughs> what? Oh, that's nice. Nicely, nicely folded. No, I'm good. Well, thank you. Nicely packed. <sighs> and then, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Robert, help me. Sage Chance after the tag title match, he was trying to get up. <sighs> One thing I do want to address, I mean, I, I think the fans got a little carried away, don't you think? With the streamers? Uh, well, well, not just streamers, but somebody probably might have been a little kid threw one of those uh, uh, beer pong balls that like ended up to, in the crowd. I'd like to address something. I was outside, and I don't think I saw the ambulance there tonight. Is that, yeah. Am I wrong? No, there wasn't there was an ambulance. Yeah, they always they have paramedics okay. there to make sure anything, anything goes wrong. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Atlas Security exists anymore. Maybe we want to bring them back for a show someday. Still working on that? No, I'm good. Yeah, I need to see Charles Shea. Uh, no, that'll do. That'll do, please. Yeah, what did I tell? No, I know Charles Shea wasn't there. You're right. Uh, and that was Kristen. Well, oh, no I, didn't, no, I didn't see Kristen either. But I did see Joe Bernard. Yes. Um, Dan Dynasty. Yes. Robert Franklin was in the building, but I think he, I think he left before it ended. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who else did we have that we saw there? Mm. I guess, okay. 
Okay. Okay, well, it's time to address it again. NYWC returns Saturday night, April 30th with... April Rain. April Rain. On Saturday night, April 30th from the Copeg Fire Department. And already announced that night, Matt Cardona defends the heavyweight championship against the Big O. Unstoppable Izzy McKenna defends the Scarlet Championship against Chelsea Green. Yeah. And also, the Crush of Beauty Heart and Soul Soul Cup Tournament continues. And we will have, as there will be, it will be the semifinals, as it will be Jaden Vallow going one on one with Randy Summers, while Brandon Watts does battle with Salvatore Savelli. Yes. I would like to see at the next event maybe Johnny Radke and two partners take on Joey Conway, Sage Chance, and Tommy Rant. Uh, I don't know what else I'd like to see. Oh, we didn't see your favorite group. What? The administration were not there. Yes. We didn't see them. We didn't see uh, Fusion Champion Willow Nightingale was not there. Uh, Rick Solis was. Yes, he's on the show. Are they married now? Rick not Solis? yet, I don't think. Um, no, maybe the SAT uh, give the have defend the tag belts against the audacity since both Cortez brothers are out of the pressure doing get heart and soul club tournament. Yeah, thank God for that. <laughs> you said it, I didn't. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, NYWC had a great show. It was pretty, pretty loaded. I was surprised the Southern, Southern Discomfort Barbash went on first. Yeah. I mean, they had the ring set up and everything. I thought maybe they could have done that before an admission and, you know, clean up the ring during an admission. But, you know, kudos to everybody that had to help out and stuff. Uh, yeah. What else can I think? Oh, another, oh, nice seeing Cecilia. It was Cecilia. Satanta Fury's girlfriend. Oh, yeah. I never knew what her name was. Yeah. And, um, who else was I telling you? Um, yeah, for some reason, I don't know. I don't know. But why is it that sometimes a lot of the wrestling fans don't stay for the entire show? You know, I don't know if they bought their tickets from somebody on the show, whether it was their fam friend or family member. And then when their friend or family member has their match those individuals leave yeah. I, I mean i understand you know they got to make the money and stay in business and all but i don't know why these oh, fans don't want to stay yeah, for the no, whole show i mean come on no, it's not about it. oh, i yeah. pay money to just see whoever sold you the tickets here uh to, to, um, to see the show i mean you know, stay for the whole thing yeah okay so i think um i think that's about it yeah okay all right you want to dress up that's you want to say something about April rain? I already went through it. Yeah. Okay, and oh, don't we get our tickets? I'll hand them to you, yeah, before we get going. But, again, NYWC did great. Uh, next, again, Saturday night, April 30th. Until we meet April, again. April rain, Saturday night, April 30th, Copic Fire Department, Big O versus Cardona. Be there or be square. Yes. <laughs> we didn't get the check yet. I know, we'll just... Don't I know. worry, I always do this. We'll, 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 it's always happening. I know. First one out the door. We're still recording, <laughs> Jess. How was the burger? Great. How was yours? Good. Yeah. Nice yeah. and healthy. Sam is healthy. All right. That's right. right. Trying to stay healthy. Me too. Okay. But and I'm twice your age, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Jess? Are you 70 yet? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Are still going? Okay. Yeah, we're still going. So yeah, great night of action, and I guess we'll mind as well. Yep. I guess I can do it now. The Tramp, NYWC, 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 NYWC. We'll see, you will see us at April Rain, Saturday, April 30th, and NYWC rules. Wait. Right. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. You know, my uncle already got up to get the car ready. Yeah. All right.